Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. We're here with our friend Tony. We're gonna check out Tony's 2002, which I've seen this car. I know this car a little bit, but I'm looking forward to like, kind of dig in and hear what you've done uh, as you've owned this car. A little something, right? A little <laughs> something different. So yeah, compared to the first time you guys seen it, I mean, it was, it was totally different, you know? But yeah, pretty much we just wrapped it, man. We went ahead and just picked out all these old liveries and checked it out, you know? And, yeah. and it looked cool. I just love the whole color scheme, yep. the whole lettering and everything. So the car was obviously originally white. You know that. It was all yeah. originally white with the red and wheels. And what year um, again? I'm sorry, Tony. 72. 72, 72. 2002. Yeah, you're pretty much your base model. And you've owned um, it for quite a while now? I've had it, I want to say, close to 20 years. 20 years, Give really? Yeah, I, can, I guess I, I didn't know it had been that long. Yeah, it's been a pretty long so time, you yeah. But you started with a bone stock 2002, Yeah, it was right? a bone stock, and well, what happened was, it obviously didn't look like this, and uh, it came with the original M10, and what happened, one thing leads to another, that we blew it up, and yeah. put the six cylinder in it, and then blew that up, and then turboed it. And so just one thing leads to another, it was a domino effect, you know? So, yeah, yeah. It's like, hey, and so here we are now. Changed the wheels out, you know, put a 15 inch, went, went one inch lower on the wheels, you know, got new. So yeah, it, it just so completely these are changed. On here yeah. Now? So before we had, before? I had 16s on there. Okay. So we had 16s with the with the red centers, and then we went with the 15 inch uh, BBSs. Yeah. So yeah, it complements the red very well, especially with the gold. It sure does. So yeah, it, it completely changed the whole look out of it, and it kind of looks like a little Marlboro carton, you know, especially with the tobacco interior. Dude, so it just it all it's just so it just racing, all man. yeah it all kind of just fell in pretty well. So what's the engine from again? So engine is out of a 89 325 year E30, your BMW E30. Right. Um, it's all, you know, gone through. It's all rebuilt, all this good stuff too, done to it. All right. port and polish, bored out. Um, so yeah, right now it's out of 2.9, but we put it at low boost right now. I, it, it was just having a hard time keeping it on the road. I, I couldn't have traction, especially with the little wheels. What was your um, boost before and what was so, your horsepower? So before we were at 19 pounds of boost and we were making 420 horsepower and 400 torque. At the tires? At the tires, yeah, at the wheels, which so was much. completely nuts. I mean, when, when I was on the freeway and I would actually get on it and just floor it, it I couldn't keep it in its lane. It would just want to jump to the next lane. It That's wasn't sketchy. fun, it would kind of get scary. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we kind of just dropped it down to about seven psi a pound. And now, so and now, what do you make with it, power wise? I we didn't dyno. We just dropped the psi. Yeah. And, and, but dyno says a little bit less than three hundred. I want to say. Yeah. Um, at the I mean, tire. It, yeah. I mean, yeah. It feels it feels pretty good. Yeah. Still. But, but yeah, then, I don't. But then the car weighs like what? I want to say a little bit over two grand. I mean, two. 21, 2200 pounds? I, I don't know. So what power they, to weight is still strong. Oh yeah, yeah, oh definitely. Power to weight ratio is still up there, definitely. What else, like have you done suspension and brake and I mean. Oh, suspension, oh yeah, everything's all been done through it. I mean, the, the whole chassis, the whole body of the car has been reinforced. There's braces underneath the car to kind of keep everything intact from keeping it not twisting. Uh -huh. um, it's got custom coilovers all around. Uh -huh. um, definitely we've got big brake, Willwood big brake kit from Ireland Engineering. We've got front and back Willwood kit. And how, um, I'm curious, because you're running a 15 inch wheel, how big is your rotor? The rotors are 13 inches. Oh. So yeah, you have to do max, the, the minimum tire size I believe is a 14. You can't fit a 13 inch wheel on there. So you have to go 14 or bigger. Got it. Yeah, or else the caliper will just rub all up against the, the rim, course, definitely. sure. I love, it's so cool, dude. I really, look, I, you know, I'm a lot older than you, Tony. I grew up in the era where we saw Marlboro on F1 cars. Yes, so I used to be a yeah. hardcore, hardcore um, motorcycle guy into Eddie Lawson running the Marlboro. Absolutely, you know? yeah. No, it's it's interesting. You you get it's it's a you get two crowds. You know that that I kind of like. It. You get the old school 2002 crowds, the BMW crowds. Like, hey, yeah, you know, I had this car when I was when I was in college or whatnot. You know, right. and then you have the delivery, the race guys. You know, oh man, it's so cool. And the thing that makes it so cool is is it's it's a somewhat of an old school livery, but it's yeah, on old school car as well a lot of people they take the livery and they put them on a new modern car it just doesn't fit right it doesn't fit that whole period of the whole vehicle I, so this one just totally unfortunately it it, it 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 just flowed very well it, with the wheels the yep. whole wrap everything just kind of came together i know on your mercedes your airbag this is static right how it's yeah so it's all static all coilovers all around um we got 350 pound springs up front 400 in the rear with bilstein sports shocks all around um, so it. yeah it, I, I try to keep it nice and tight yeah. from you know cornering or whatnot i mean the bends is just like a cloud you know it's just it's just sure. nice and soft what if it's you know? that car well yes yeah, I mean, the whole purpose, you know, it's like, I like to build them to drive them. You know, I don't like I, to kind of, it's, it's one of those things, you know, I want to, I want to enjoy it and totally drive I'm it. I'm with you, dude. I, I, and yeah, I, the thumbs up and all the, all the excitement you get on the road, you know, all the little kids, you just see people taking pictures of it. It's, it's pretty cool. Definitely. Okay, so interior changes, obviously pedals. 
Um, yeah, we added the pedals, and I believe the center console wasn't the same way from as suppose from the the last time. I didn't I don't have think the monitor. It was either. Yeah, and I don't you think I had the monitor, shifter the well. shifter. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we so what's the, short. the shifter? So the shifter is the IRP. It's a IRP race shifter. It's a short shifter, pretty much, but it locks you out of reverse and fifth gear. Nice. So it's pretty much you just get your H pattern, your first through fourth in your H pattern, so you don't miss shift or anything. So it has lockout little set screws, so you literally can't miss shift. And then I forget, are these stock gauges here? Yeah, so the cluster is all stock gauges. Obviously nothing works, just the gas and your tech works. And then works. you've added all that. Yeah, my speedo and RPM tack don't work. Um, and then I added my boost and uh, air fuel ratio gauge. Definitely that was the most important. That's why I kind of made a custom pod that goes right on the column, just so you could be able to see that. And then otherwise it's all stock interior, right? Um, no, the seats are all out of an E30 as well. Oh, so okay. So the front and rear seats are all E30. These are the Recaros out of the stock E30s, just wrapped in the 2002 color to and the 2002 scheme yes. yeah the whole yes. pattern is all 2002 yes. but if you notice there are recaro kind of bolsters on the left and right yes that's yes. all e30 stuff yeah yeah Definitely. no as soon as you said that i was like yeah yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah technically honestly like i want to say majority of the car is all e30 i mean engine trans the rear end is all e30 just to be able to handle the whole horsepower and everything in the rear right. end so it doesn't break it off right um but sure. yeah as far as suspension and all that is all e30 but you know custom suspension wise big brake kit sure. i mean you can tell the car was not built for this and the thing is once you start going over 100 the car is a little break so it's not aerodynamic at yeah. all, at yeah. all. So yeah, yeah you start yeah. running into a few air issue problems. Well, no, I remember going for a ride in it and I remember it was just, every time you would lightly get on it, you were just spinning. Yeah, it would just spin, and exactly. And that's the, the whole place. reason we kind of down, yeah, down the blue and, and did Make all that. Make it drivable. Make yeah. it fun and enjoyable. So now it's like, if somebody pulls up, I could actually floor it and all right, let's go. It'll stay and you're in still going to get moving. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Is there anything else on it that we no. missed? We pretty much got the whole gist of it, definitely. Okay. What do you say we get some cameras and go for a drive? Yeah, as well. Yeah. I feel like a little kid the way I sit in this car. <laughs> Why, is it too upright? Are you too erect or are you laid no, down? I'm good. Right? I'm up? laid back, but I'm good. Here, actually. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Well, went the other gotta, way. <laughs> yeah. went the, wait, that's too far. There yeah. we go. There we go. detuned this car is still making a lot of acceleration yeah I mean, isn't you it? feel it yeah, no, yeah. You feel it, huh? so the whole livery idea came out was my buddy he you know lean customs um, he made a, a collaboration or a collection of Marlboro pins he made five pins of them and um, you know he made a bunch of you know super Aussie 30s and the fifth pin pretty much was a 2002 which is this pin, which is guys. that pin and uh, he already made the pin designed it everything um, and so we were like, hey, you know what? Let's debut it for a show. Let's let's wrap my car as you know, like the pin. Yeah. And that's sure enough what we did. We you know we got wrap legends involved, and they pretty much wrapped the whole car matching to the pin the way the way uh, Hansel Lean Custom designed it on his you know on, yeah. according to the pin. Yeah. So you really. And we we like matched the really pin pretty well the pin. with the with the wheels and yeah. the whole livery and everything. So we matched the pin pretty identical. But that's how it came about. feeling the lightness of that turbo oh yeah once turbo kicks in it's like you really you, feel de you definitely pulling. feel it yeah you definitely do and how hard are you hitting it right there <laughs> i can just barely get it <laughs> it's crazy it's truth dude power to weight is always the yeah, key right So with the wheel tire setup on here, to this car, it, it, handling wise, you've got enough tire for it? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> so can, have you ever thought of... There's no room to fit it. No. There's no, there's no wheel well. There's not got enough it. room. So now Definitely you would not. have to mini tub it. Yeah. Bar.
funny. It's different. It's noticeably different though from how it was before. I remember. Oh, yeah, no, I remember before, before was, when you before start, it was violent, man. Yeah. I mean now I can like easy. I can at least get on it and roll into like the throttle and the just power yeah down. and just keep it there. Yeah. You don't miss you don't miss the bigger power that you had in here before. No, no. I mean, it, I can't say no, man. You get smoked every now and then. You miss it, you know. Yeah. But it's like it, it's it's drivable. I I dig it, you know. It's. But it pulls plenty yeah, harder. You're I, still I, stoked, I, it's right? It's like you know what? Sometimes it's like ah, maybe it might get me in a little bit more trouble than I really need to. Yeah. This whole car, didn't you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the only thing you don't do is you have somebody tune it for you. Yeah, like, yeah. And a, busy motors. It, yeah, about you put as it on his dyno. Gets, right? Yeah, well, yeah, it's all dyno tuned and stuff. So yeah, we had it on the dyno. I mean, yeah, as far as now, we could do it, you I mean, dropped I could, the boost. You I didn't do dyno, though, no, right? No, no, We just pretty much kept it the same tune. Everything. The tune is still the same. We just dropped the boost level on the boost controller. Got it. This thing pulls hard. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> dude. And we can keep going. They'll meet us. See you back at the shop. <laughs> Jesus, dude. All right. Hilarious that this is detuned and it's still. <laughs> like it really, when when you, so when it comes on boost at a launch like that, it, it it's wiggling, Yeah, isn't it's it? fucking, it's on there. Yeah, dude, yeah. definitely. <laughs> Great to see Tony, great to shoot with him again. Absolutely love this BMW, love the livery on it. I can't believe he's taken over 100 horsepower away from the tires and it still does the things that it does. Just totally blown away all over again by this car. And definitely a fun time hanging out with Tony. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks as always for hanging and watching and I will see you in the next episode. All right, man, later.